Well, I may as well get raw out of the way. Another wretched show. Mike almost quit in the middle of the show last night. It was so bad. Actually, almost quit like early on in the show. Half hour in. I was oh, done. Oh, my God. And it only got worse. Like the first half hour. So we have Mace and T-Bar coming out for their match with Braun Strowman and Drew McIntyre. But Braun goes and yells at Drew because his feelings are hurt that Drew did not thank him last week. And he goes, I'm going to go out there and take these two guys on by myself, something you couldn't do. So he goes out there, and in fact, Braun Strowman also can't do it. And they stomp on him for the DQ. Drew runs down. This leads to Braun and Drew versus T-Bar and Mace. Last week, we had a DQ that led to a DQ. This week, we have a DQ that leads to a countout. No better way to get a new team over than winning by DQ and countout because they won't allow you to pin anybody. So Braun is very upset, and he lays out Drew with the power slam. And Drew then goes, and he wants a third match tonight. He wants to face Braun Strowman in the main event of the show. We have a segment with Miz and Morrison, the Drifter, Jackson Riker. It's wretched. It only gets worse because then the New Day and Damian Priest come out and they throw tomatoes, literal tomatoes. They throw tomatoes at the bad guys. And meanwhile, like, they can't help themselves. They do 50,000 cuts. So, like, I can't even see if anybody got hit with a tomato. They go to the match. Priest and the New Day versus Elias and Riker and Miz. You guys should remember who the uh, WWE Raw Tag Team Champions are out of curiosity. Do you remember, Mike? I do. Who are they? I do. It's, it's AJ Styles and it's Omos who okay. just disappeared. In the Bro, we haven't seen them in going on three weeks now. No, so we have to see mania. the same matches over and over. And like I was told today, nobody is currently out. It's like, what? There's no way you've got a full roster. They do this match. Priest and New Day versus Elias Riker and Miz. This match goes on like an hour and it ended up okay, like the comeback was good, the spots at the end were good, but bro, I didn't need to see this for as long as it went. We have Sonya Deville of SmackDown showing up so that she can reinstate Charlotte, who was suspended indefinitely after the show went off the air last week. So she doesn't even miss one, she didn't even miss an hour, because this was an hour one of the following week. So Charlotte comes out, and she talks to this referee that she beat up. And she's reinstated, and he says he's sorry, and then they announce a match for later or whatever. I was I was completely over this. They had all this fake booing. It was just preposterous. We have Adam Pierce upset at Sonya for reinstating Charlotte without asking him. She apparently goes by the old, you know, make the mistake and apologize later. Don't ask for permission, that old gimmick. Braun is furious at Adam Pearce. Braun wants to be added to the main event at WrestleMania Backlash if he beats Drew tonight. And uh, Adam Pearce says, okay. Sheamus comes out for the open challenge. Last week, the story was, I'm going to issue an open challenge, but the title will never be on the line. He then proceeds to go out and issue an open challenge with the title on the line. So they, like, forgot in the middle of the show. Now this week, he comes back and the title is not on the line. We have Umberto Carrillo accepting for the second week in a row. Apparently nobody else wants a shot at this U.S. title. He gets beaten up, but he does make a comeback, and he sends the dude packing, and so probably next week he'll get murdered in a match by Sheamus, and that'll be the end of that guy for a while. Bobby and MVP promo. Rhea Ripley, who is a heel this week, she does a promo. Dave's telling me she's always been a heel. She has? I don't know. Lashley and MVP come out to cut a promo. They're upset about the main event. There's a lot of promos on this show where everyone just says the exact same thing. Riddle does a promo, and guess who shows up? Randy Orton. And Randy says, you know, maybe that RK bro idea isn't the worst idea. Let's have a match tonight, and if we win, we'll talk more later. Riddle is over the moon, as he should be, because they're actually going to do something with the guy for a couple weeks. Nia, Shada, and Reginald backstage. Nia cuts a terrible promo, horribly scripted promo. Somebody shows up with flowers for Nia. Reginald says they aren't from me. Then Angel Garza shows up and says they're from me. I don't know why he didn't just give her the flowers. He was right there. And then she walks over and she hits Mandy with the flowers to not lead to a match tonight. Braun is warming up. 
It's been like an hour. We haven't had a match. We get RKO, RK Bro versus Shelton and Cedric, and RK Bro wins. And Randy tags in Riddle for the finish. They work together great. They get along. People seem to like it. It's something new. And I'm sure as a result of that, they will break up and, and Randy will RKO the guy in like two weeks so we can get some heat. Don't give the fans something new. Don't give the fans something new and exciting and fun. Let's make that something to get heat. Hey, maybe they won't. But if you think I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt, if you think I'm going to see where this goes, think again. I'm expecting the worst. Asuka, Naomi, and Lana versus Rhea, and Nia, and Shayna. I think they. I think Dave said this went 12 minutes. I mean, it would have been best served going two. I mean, Lana's in there. She did some spot with Rhea that was like, it was the most slow motion Lucha. I haven't seen Lucha this slow since I was doing shows at Tito Carrion's gym in Hillsboro, Oregon in front of like three fans. And so, like, she does this horribly slow, and finally Rhea just power bombs her and uh, gets to work. And then finally Rhea hits, hits a hip riptide on Lana. Nia tags in pins her. I mean, where is the rest of this roster? Don't tell me the whole roster is available. That's impossible. Wretched Alexa Bliss segment. She's got her stupid doll. She's threatening to have matches with the rest of the women's roster that will involve magic and dolls. Y'all looking forward to that? I'm not. Charlotte beats Mandy. Do I need to recap the dumbest spot of the night in this match? No? Okay, I won't. Drew does a promo. And then Drew faces Braun Strowman. Thankfully, Drew was kind of like Kenny Omega, except Braun Strowman didn't get blown up. Drew was like, bro, we're going to have a good match here. Whether we have to kill each other or not, like, we're going to try to save this show. He's given Braun overhead belly-to-belly -belly suplexes. Braun's giving this dude superplexes, brain busters off the top rope. They're just killing each other. And finally, we have interference from Lashley, MVP, Mace, T-Bar, and somehow this leads to Drew being distracted. Braun power slams him for the pin. So uh, Mace and T-Bar, who are now unmasked, like we know who they are, well, they're still Mace and T-Bar. Mm. So like, why did they bother? I they interfere. Uh, the, uh, MVP said they weren't part of the Hurt Business. Apparently he was telling the truth. I guess he hired him for a night. Now... They have interfered and screwed the Hurt Business because now Lashley has to face two guys at the pay-per-view. It's a... Well, Brian, they're not part of the Hurt Business, okay? And I'm not whatever. sure if they're Mason T-Bar or if they are... They are. are. They were billed I... as Mason T-Bar. Yeah, but next week, do you think they actually just go ahead and go full out and give them the name Connor and Victor? Brun, because or, uh, that's kind of what they were like last night, weren't they? Bro, they were they were, they were Ascension. They were the Ascension... They were uh, the other two guys, AOP. They were That's every they were. They were a mix between every AOP big and team that they've got. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it's better than retribution, I guess. Yeah, I they've guess. gotten they've gotten two cheap wins. So just call him Dijak. You know, you could beat just two guys and like give them an actual win. God yeah. forbid they actually beat a team. Mm. Well, apparently all the teams are sitting on ice with everybody else who's not sick, apparently. I don't even care enough to, like, get mad about this show. It's like... No. It's a bad show every week. It it just sucks. It's, like, it, repetitive. We see the same matches, the same finishes, the same guys wrestle all throughout the show. There are a couple of guys, like, God bless Drew McIntyre. He tries so hard to try to be a shining beacon of light on this the darkness that is Raw. And the rest of it is just like, let's just go through the motions and have impossibly long matches. And I don't know. I don't know. Who we'll can, can who can sit break. through three hours of the show? I don't get it. Oh, God. Nobody. We can talk about that coming out after break, too, because the third hour of this show with how the first hour went, I'd love to see how this thing holds up. Hey, there's one half of your tag team champions ring music. Just He's dropped off. He's vanished so that we can watch a Lana match for 25 minutes. Back in a moment. Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.